As I explained in the last video, we have a main configuration file called Chrome Tab, which is located under ATC. Let me just show you LSL ATC Chrome Tab. So it's located here, but you already know that if we want to create a Chrome job, then we are not editing this file directly. Instead, we are creating a user specific Chrome job. And to do that, just type Chrome Tab and then provide E option. I'm gonna create a job that runs a simple script at every second minute through 0 and 59. So we only need to change the minute part from 0 to 59. And I'm gonna do that. So let's just press I and then 0, 59. Since we are talking about second minute, then we're gonna divide it by 2. And then everything else will be asterisk. And then we have to provide the script location or script path. But of course, let's first create the script. Let me clear the screen. We're gonna create a file called my script, let's say .sh. Sorry, there's a sign here, we have to remove it. Okay, now let's open it. First of all, we are creating a bash script, that's why we have to provide the this shebang. So I'm gonna use bill then bash. And let me just tell you what our script will do. So the script will check the home directory of Bagekis Academy. And if under this directory there is file called test99, then it will delete that file. If there is no file like called test99, then it will just do nothing. So let's just do that. I'm going to use if statement. So if we have regular file called, let's say, home by this academy, and under this directory, we're going to have test99. So if there is regular file, so by the way, this f, f option means that it's regular file. So if there is regular file, like called test99 under this directory, I think I made a typo here. And there should be E. And there should be space as well. So if there is file, then we're gonna say remove that file. So I'm gonna copy this pass. Paste it here. So we're gonna remove this file, but I think it's a little bit better before that we should print something here. Uh, I'm gonna say echo, let's say the script will say deleting file test 99. And if it is deleted, it will say the file The file is deleted. And let's put three dot here. So if there is file called test99, it will delete it. If there is not, so else, then it will just say, uh, let's write the file test99 does not exist. It will just print this statement and let's end the if statement we're gonna use fy so that's it let's save our file i think from the previous video you already know that the script should be also executable if we do lsl we're gonna see that we have my script.sh file but we don't have any execute permission that's why we're gonna give execute permission to the script so I'm gonna use change mode plus x. It should be small letter. So plus x my script.sh. Press enter. Let's do LSL. Now it has execute permission. Okay, we created our script. Now it is time to create a cron job. So let's use cron top dot e. Let's type our cron timing. So zero. 59 divided by 2 asterisk 
3x and then 2 more and after that you have to provide this script pass so I'm going to use on bugs academy and under that we have my script dot sh script dot sh okay that's it I believe let's save it so it says installing new chrome tab and now I'm gonna clear the screen and let's observe the chrome works which are located under var log let me just uh, type it so we're gonna use tail f under var log we have chrome logs so press enter okay let's use to do okay it seems like we made a typo here it says no such file or directory uh, it seems that yes after c we, did, we just forgot uh, typing a so let's control c and let's edit the cron tab one more time cron tab at e and there should be academy okay now let's see it i think it should be okay for now so since we didn't create any file called test 99 under by x academy the script output should be file test 99 does not exist okay i think we received a message but uh, it seems our screen is a bit bigger let me just control c i think it's better yes that is here at 14.56 we got the message that says the file test 99 doesn't exist seems like we just made a typo here as well but it doesn't matter actually and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to the home directory Control c let's clear the screen and here we are gonna create two files which will be touch the file the first one will be a test and the second one will be test 99 and let's do lsl yes we have these files test and test 99 let's look at the logs as well so according to our script only test 99 should be deleted so we're gonna observe the logs and probably we're gonna get the message that says file is deleted i hope so great it says deleting file test 99 and the file is deleted so it seems like it is deleted but of course we have to check it let's control c and if we do lsl we have only file called test not test 99 so it is deleted i also want to show you one more important location when we type crontab.e it will create a file under tmp but after you save this file let me save it so after you save so after you save this file it will be moved to var spool cron location let's see that if we have file under that directory so var spool cron we should have a file here permission denied let's use sudo sorry as you see we have cron file named bug x academy so the point is the chrome file is first being created as a temporary file in tmp directory and after the file is saved it is being moved to this location var spool chrome directory so i think that's it about this video i hope you learned some useful stuff so bye and i will see you in the next video